Hello, everybody. What's going on? How's everybody doing today? Oh my god, I walked in, there's a whole big old conversation going on in the chat. When SRB2 card stream? I don't know. When I feel like it. Hello, Bravia, Space Cowboy, Doc T, Frankie Hedgehog, Super Criminator, uh, Cookie Cletton. You can host the server for me? Sweet, it's more just I haven't felt like doing it yet. I got a plenty of other things that I want to stream in the meantime. Oh my god, there's so many people. Hello, everyone. Thoughts on the Knuckles show? It looks terrible. Yeah, I'll probably hit you up, sweet, uh, when I'm planning on doing that. How's everything? Going pretty well. Uh, sorry that I haven't, uh, been uploading a, a video in, uh, a bit. I've been busy and some things came up, so I haven't had time to work on videos. Apologies about that, but hopefully I'll be able to get back to it soon. I have still been working on things, but things in the background for future videos and, uh, stuff I'm working on. Uh, so... It's still progressing, still working on things. Things are still coming, don't worry. Also, some stuff I was working on I didn't really like, so I'm gonna have to redo it. But streaming is something I can do right now. When am I covering Sonic X for the Leapster? Uh, after the heat death of the universe. As soon as that happens. Quality over quantity, take all the time I need. Uh, thanks. Uh, yeah, I, I try not to rush too much with the videos, but obviously I don't have, like, a really big fancy production with my videos, which is how I'm able to get them out so quickly, but still, wanna, wanna put out stuff that I'm happy with. You hope I had a good Super Bowl Sunday? I don't care about the Super Bowl. I didn't watch it. I was working that day, actually. So, whatever. Am I hyped for Sonic Movie 3? No. Will I play CD after 1 or 3K? I'm gonna play it after 1. It's the most appropriate place for it because it's most similar to Sonic 1. It's weird to go from the progression of Sonic 1 to 2 to 3K and then go back to CD. It's much cleaner doing it that way. What's the worst Sonic-related video I made? Probably just that stupid one where I was ranting about having to buy an Apple TV for Sonic Dream Team. I made that video in, like, ten minutes of just me ranting, and it was just garbage. And somehow it got, like, almost 40,000 views or something. I'm so mad that something like that does well, but then something I actually care about and put effort into doesn't get as many views. But that's YouTube. That's how it goes. Erg. Uh, Adventure 1 versus Heroes? I like Heroes more. I'm gonna play Sonic CD first. Do I play mobile games? Uh, I've played a small handful here and there, mostly rhythm games like Demo or Sidus, a lot of Rayart games, actually. I played Plants vs. Zombies 2. Um, that's pretty much it. Am I playing Origins? Ha! That's a good one, Alexa. Why on earth would I do that? Ever tried Clash Royale? Nope, never have. I never really played any of the popular phone games. I don't really use my phone very much. If I'm not, um, uh, like, you know, calling or texting or something, I really don't use my phone. I'm very uncommon for someone of my age. My phone mostly sits there and wastes battery <laughs> most of the time. Am I playing the original Sega Genesis games? Ha! Huh. Why on earth would I do that? <laughs> Y'all know what I'm playing. Y'all know what I'm playing. Colmea, you don't have to do that. You should probably keep doing important things.
Yeah, yeah. Forever, decomp, absolute, air, obviously. Yeah, Miracle Edition for CD. Am I hyped for the Knuckles show? Nope. You scroll way too much on your phone? Yeah, I've never really been much of a scroller because I just don't use social media, so... I, Where do I work? I just work at a local grocery store. It sucks! <laughs> I'm playing the GBA version, obviously, of Sonic 1. Yeah, stealth port of Sonic 1, the GBA. The good one. Best Sonic OST. People are always asking me that. How on earth am I supposed to uh, narrow it down when there are so many great uh, soundtracks in Sonic? Wait a dawn. I don't not use social media because I'm an introvert. I don't use social media because it's awful. It is literally, like, bad for your mental health. And it's mostly worthless and a waste of your time. Favorite music track in Shadow? Like Shadow the Hedgehog, the game? Uh, a lot of the music in Shadow is really good. I think it's very underrated soundtrack. I'm trying to think of non-vocal themes, because vocal themes are too easy. I do like Lethal Highway a lot. That's a really good song. Westopolis is good, too. Hot Shelter? No, right. From Song Adventure 1? No. I don't even particularly care for that. Do I do a playthrough of Spark 3 on stream? Maybe. I don't know. I haven't even played the game yet. Best SA1 speed stage? Uh, Red Mountain. Oh, Lava Shelter from Shadow. Honestly, off the top of my head, I don't remember what the song is for that. What's my favorite Sonic Zone of all games? Hmm. Uh. You know, I think off the top of my head, I feel like I gotta go with Egg Fleet from Sonic Heroes. Because I think the concept of that zone is just the sickest thing ever. And the game does a pretty good job at uh, realizing it. For a final level in a Sonic game, it's so cool. Hydro City or Hydro City? I say Hydro City, because that makes sense. Zedgar, that's a really weird way of asking what's my favorite zone in Sonic CD aesthetically. Probably Quartz Quadrant. Yeah, but that uh, way to dawn. That works well, Final Fortress, for like the final, final thing, but Egg Fleet is like the epic final push, and you're just blasting through things until you get to like the real heart of things. Like the whole zone is very well orchestrated. Knuckles trailer thoughts? It looks awful. <laughs> Those are my thoughts. What do I think of the prototype music from Sonic 3? I don't like it. Not a fan. Shadow the Hedgehog is kind of overhated, e even if you do dislike Shadow's writing. Gabriel, Shadow's writing and Shadow the Hedgehog is fine, actually. Uh, it's just the story presentation makes it a giant confusing mess. Wait, what? Uh, okay, Bravia. Whatever. <laughs> Why do I think it looks awful? Because I watched it? I mean, what do you want me to say? It looks like a terrible, generic, Hollywood garbage show featuring Knuckles from the Sonic the Hedgehog brand. What classic game is the best story? Sonic 2, in my opinion. Hey, SD, welcome to the stream. 
Shadow Reloaded needs to stream? Oh, I'm definitely going to stream that. For sure. You think CD is best because of its visual storytelling? It's definitely very strong with the storytelling, with the music, and yeah, the visuals, and the whole time travel thing, and how it plays into the themes. CD is actually probably, like, the best one, I guess I would say. Two is my favorite story, though. A lot of people today, that's because I put Sonic in the title of the stream. And so a lot of people showed up, because that's how it works. Alright, let's get into things. Uh There we go. Uh that. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Do a Sonic stream without putting Sonic in the title. I think I've done that before. Yeah, hold on. There we go. Let me know how the, uh, the music is, if it's too loud or too quiet. Uh, let's see. I guess we can do no save, doesn't matter. I was thinking of playing Amy for this playthrough, because I've not played her with her forever moveset. I've only played her using the, uh, the advanced esque moveset, so I want to give that a try. Uh, so I'm gonna do that. Again, now that we're in gameplay, let me know how the audio is, if it's not too loud or too quiet or anything. What I use for streaming? OBS? Yeah, I'm using OBS. Man, how many times have I played this level in my life? I don't even know. Could be a tiny bit louder, it's a bit quiet. Okay. I'll raise it up. A little bit. Don't want to raise it up too much, because then it gets, uh, too loud and overpowers my voice. Let me know how that is. What's her moveset? She can do a, uh, a hover thing like this, like she can in, uh, Sonic Heroes. And then, uh, you can do a high jump with up and jump. Totally screwed this up. Yep. Yep. Audio's good? Okay, cool. Rings are much louder than the music? Yeah, that's just a thing with Sonic Forever. I don't know why it's like that. E-rank? Hey, I still got the 50,000 time bonus. It's her Mega Mix Mania moveset, too? Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, because it's also, yeah, her moveset in, uh, Amy and Sonic Mania, right? By the way, I'm not going for the, the Chaos Emeralds or the Time Stones, because I want to have fun. Wow. Fucking Amy, the boss destroyer. Sonic 1 special stages are bad anyway. I mean, any of them- are any of them really that great? If I could get a faithful adaptation of a Sonic game in a movie or TV show, which game would I like it to be? Um... Sonic Rush Adventure. Because I think that game's story is way too good for the crappy visual novel sequences that tell it. Sonic Battle as a TV show, because it's written like one? You could definitely do that. Nice Amy mod? This isn't a mod, this is just built right into Sonic Forever. Which Sonic game has the best boss fights? Um... Oh no. I got killed. Uh... I don't even remember. Unleashed has okay bosses.
That wasn't a Game Grumps moment. I was trying to do an advanced thing, and I screwed it up. They don't know no advanced things. Ever played any of the Amy and Sonic 1, 2, 3 hacks? Yeah, I did, back in the day. Remember when we had to rely on ROM hacks to get the ideal versions of games and play as other characters in Sonic games? Ah, those were the days. Those days weren't even that long ago. It was only like, what, four years ago before the decomps really started to become a thing? There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, I tried playing Sonic 3 Knuckles again and was incredibly bored. What are you missing? Uh, I don't know. If Maybe you just don't like it. That's fine. You hate that they delisted all the OG Sonic games and trapped us with Origins? I mean, you're not trapped. You can still play the good versions. I'm playing it right now. Sonic Team should make a Classic Shadow in Rouge? Well, I got news for you, because Classic Shadow is about to be a thing. Oh, tried to land on that. How's my day going? Going well. Oh. You cannot uh, do your hammer twirl after the high jump. Classic Shadow won't be a thing. It'll be the modern model, most likely. Yeah, I'm really curious. Are, did they make a Classic Shadow model for that uh, skin? That would be very fascinating to see. Can Amy get up here without needing... Oh, no, I'm thinking of the wrong thing. Thinking in Act 3. Don't Google Sonic X Shadow, guys. Why not? What else could you possibly find? Yeah, I saw that uh, Sonic Adventure and SA2 were released on Steam in Japan. That's cool. Weird that it wasn't already. Yep. Is someone going to tell Pariah? Tell me what. Let's see, can I get up here? I'm going to have to take a hit. Yes. Oh no, taking another hit. Oopsies. That was a mistimed press by me. Can I get this? Yeah. Very smooth. You don't remember Amy being in Sonic 1? Well, she is now. Oopsies. Marvel Zone's not as bad as people make it out to be. I actually quite like the zone. I have grown to appreciate Sonic 1 more and more over time. Ah! Whoopsies. <laughs> oh, well. There we go. Wow, I did that boss terribly. Does Amy have a lower jump? I don't know. Yeah, because normally you can just jump up and hit Eggman on the platform there, right? So she may have Knuckles' lower jump. I don't know.
Spring Yard is another zone that uh, for a long time I've not really been a fan of, but I'm starting to like it a bit more. Learning this skip definitely helped. Because this skips a whole annoying waiting section. Now let's just use Amy's hover to do this. Well, that was nice. Ah, wanted to land on that. Oh! Shit! Alright, fuck it. There. Which one of the first four Sonic games has my favorite music? Uh, probably CD. I just Sonic adventured the hell out of that section. Well, you know. You're not exactly supposed to have these abilities. Whoopsies. I was thinking of a different section. What? I am taking all kinds of hits. I suck. Actually, I think I don't want to go up here, right? No, wait, I do. I want to use that. Think I want to go up here? I think. I don't remember. Oh, I think this is the route that they added for Tails, potentially? I don't remember. I don't remember if this was in the game originally. Stealing your thing, Stelmo? Well, you stole my thing. You streamed Mario 64 Plus after I did, so I'm stealing back. I can skip the final boss because it's boring and terrible. I mean, by that metric, I could skip all the bosses, no? It. Yeah, this is the one that you have to do, I'm pretty sure. There's no way to skip this one. Fortunately, it's like one of the shortest. Oh yeah, there's the way up here. Actually, do you want to take this? I think you do? I'm just going off of pure memory, and it is old and crusty. But there's definitely a part where you don't actually want to go up. Oh wait. There's a, there's a thing in there. I think this is it. You don't want to go up here, I believe. You want to go across? Because if you go up, then there will be, like, a, a waiting pattern you need to do to get down. Yeah, that right there. Oh, no. Fortunately, Amy's high jump allows her to destroy that boss. This is definitely the most pinball action stage in Sonic 1. A taster for CD. Yeah, when they made it much, much worse in Collision Chaos. Amy looks busted. I mean, to be fair, all the characters are busted in this game. Even Sonic, if you play him with his, you know, full abilities. But I am of the opinion that Sonic 1 gets a lot more fun when it's busted. Like, I think part of the reason this game has its mixed reception is because of the original Sonic 1 in the way it is. Uh, I bet you I could just make this, right? 
Because I remember the first time I started to be like, wait a minute, I really like Sonic 1, this game's actually really fun, was uh, when I played a ROM hack for Sonic 1. I think it was Mighty in Sonic 1. And I don't know if he had any abilities. He might not have. But he had the Spin Dash. And just playing through Sonic 1 with the Spin Dash, I was like, wow, this game is way more fun now. Damn it! <laughs> Motherfuckers. You're a fan of the leisurely pace of regular Sonic 1? Yeah, not for me. I prefer the, uh... Because it's more like the other games, this way. The pace of the game feels much faster. Like, zones like uh, Marble and Labyrinth are much worse when you can't, like, Spin Dash and stuff. Bleh. Not again. Not again, you motherfuckers. Oh, I died at the very end of the level. Labyrinth is overhated. I... Again, if you play it with uh, Spin Dash and stuff, it's definitely not as bad. But it's still not great. You prefer Superstars, Amy, to this? I mean, Superstars, Amy doesn't have a lot of additional functionality over this. The double jump is basically the same as uh, the high jump here. The hover, actually, I'm not in love with. I think it's got too much overlap with Knuckles. I'm using the uh, Sonic CD style drowning, because I don't like how the drowning music cuts out the level music. I've never liked that. Origins Amy, you think, is better than Superstars? What? Origins Amy is useless. She's just a worse Sonic. Superstars Amy at least has the double jump to make her a bit unique. This is a really good uh, section to challenge your ability to use momentum correctly, not hitting any blocks on your way down as you fall there to maximize your speed. That is... The purest of Sonic Momentum gameplay right there. Also makes me think of those parts in Souls games, you know? Where there's just a big fucking hole and you're falling from beam to beam trying not to fucking die. Super Zars Amy is great because she actually uses her hammer as a hammer. I just wish that... When you hit springs with your hammer, it had the advance effect where you get, like, super springs. That's so cool. Then the hammer rush would do something. Oops. I think this first one, yeah, it's just a shield. Worthless. There we go. I need air. Have I seen the sales reports? Sega said the game failed but still sold 2 million. Uh, what? I saw the report. It didn't say anything about Superstars selling 2 million. It said that the Sonic franchise sold like 5 million. Oh, <laughs> don't high jump there. And I think that uh, Frontiers sold, like, 3 million, right? So I guess I understand why people might be thinking that, but it, it, that's just the Sonic franchise. That doesn't mean that all those sales are superstars. It could have easily been older Sonic games, DLC, whatever. Sega has absolutely had periods where 
Sonic sells ridiculously well in one period when no new games come out. That just happens sometimes. What the fuck? <laughs> I thought he would fly away. Why don't I have infinite lives? It doesn't really make much of a difference one way or the other. I'm not gonna run out. Okay, get out of here so you don't fucking kill me, motherfucker. This part is fun to speedrun? Yeah, it takes some precision, but it's not bad. It can be scary if you don't have any rings, though. Have I seen how much the fanbase hates Classic Sonic now? I haven't, and honestly, I don't care. That section does not work in the original game, by the way. <laughs> yeah, speed cap in the original is bad. Uh, yeah, also the collision on that one part, it just does not connect correctly. Something about nostalgia pandering, but Shadow uh, and nostalgia pandering? That's a good point. <laughs> a bunch of people who don't like Classic Sonic are like, Fuck all the nostalgia pandering. But oh my god, they're gonna get live and learn for Sonic Movie 3, I'm so hype! It's like, huh. So you do like nostalgia pandering, but only when it panders to you. <laughs> I see. Interesting. Is Masato Nakamura still alive? Uh, yes. He did a thing, uh, not too long ago uh, for his band, where he did a lyrical version of Green Hill, actually. Oopsies, forgot that was there. Wait, that, that, that. Oh yeah, nope. Forgot about that. I mean, really, this is something I've thought for a long time. Maybe I should do a video about it. I have just felt for a while that there is kind of like a... a an underlying vitriol that a lot of Sonic fans have for classic Sonic, because I think a lot of Sonic fans, especially these days with how old Sonic is, did not grow up with classic Sonic and do not care for classic Sonic. But uh, because classic Sonic is classic Sonic and the majority of people like it, uh, for a long time there's been this like going along with it, I think, where they're like, yeah, classic Sonic is great, Mania is great, blah, blah, blah. But secretly, they're, man, they're like, man, I don't care about any of this shit. I want another Sonic Adventure, or whatever. I do think there is a large portion of Sonic fans that genuinely do not give a flying fuck about classic Sonic, don't care about the original games, don't want any of that. And I think that's been around for a long time, and now it's starting to come out, now that we're getting more classic stuff.
Oh, the precision! I have no idea where I'm going. Amy is fun. This is a good moveset. This is better than her advanced-esque moveset. That moveset doesn't really work too well. I think you want to go down here, actually. Oh, no. I fucked up. The advanced S moveset doesn't work super well for Amy, because you only have one button, so jumping and swinging your hammer immediately is something you cannot do. Ah! Oh yeah, I forgot about all this. I don't know how people feel about Scrap Brain, but I actually think this is... Probably my favorite zone in the game. I think it's really fun. It has a pretty traditional Sonic level design. You can do, go through it relatively fast. It's got all these traps and enemies that you have to avoid. Uh, I love this zone. Like these things, super fun. Except Act 3 is kind of lame. Well, yes, Act 3 is lame. Uh, I don't know why they did that. And it, I'm pretty sure it wasn't even, like, a last-minute decision. I'm pretty sure it's, like, in the early documents that they always intended uh, for the final level to be a fuck you, motherfucker. You're back to Labyrinth Zone. Fuck! Scrap Rain over Death Egg? Yeah, I like Scrap Rain more. I don't really think Death Egg is that great of a level, honestly. For the final zone of the game, it's not hard at all. Act 3 is the first ever zone transition in Classic Sonic? That's true. That's true. Come on, get down there. Fortunately, while this level does suck, at least you can finish it in, like, 20 seconds if you do the fast route. And you don't get hit and suck like I do. Yeah. There we go. Not so bad. Alright, now this thing. I won't be able to use Amy's uh, abilities to cheese this one out. This boss sucks. Wow. Wow, I just got killed. Damn. Classic games are so nice. <laughs> I was reading chat. Classic games are so nice because you can sit down for 45 minutes and beat the game. Uh, for all except Three of Knuckles. It's a weird thing, Three of Knuckles. Like, it's two games put together, but not really. It's one game split in two. But it also kind of does feel like it's two games put together because Sonic 3 and Sonic Knuckles individually are uh, both as long as the other Sonic games. So it does feel like a giant fucking game. Lame final boss, 2 and 3 take the W here. Well, the, f the final boss of 2 also sucks. The superstars of 3K have more levels? Um... I don't know. I assume 3K probably has more.
And there we go. That's Sonic 1 down. You wish they would make uh, more hour-long classic Sonic games, Direct Sark? That's one of the nice things about the advanced games. That's how long they are. Each one is about the length of uh, the first couple of games. That is a fun Amy moveset. I like it. It's good. All right. Next game. Uh, hold on as I switch. On to the worst of the games, unfortunately. Will Sonic 2 be with Amy as well? Uh, Amy is not in Sonic 2 Absolute as of yet. Uh, there we go. Am I playing Sonic Mania? No, I'm not gonna do Mania today. You see how it says the original Sonic games? Yeah, as you can see, I don't have the Origins version, so I don't have Knuckles or Amy. Uh, we'll do another no save. Who should I play, Sonic or Tails? I'll let chat decide. CD is better than two? I don't feel that way at all. Tails, 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 Sonic, to oh God, oh God. <laughs> I'm seeing mostly Sonics. I was kind of thinking Tails because I, like, never play Sonic CD with Tails. Okay, everyone stop. Everyone just shut up now. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna go with Tails because I never play Tails in Sonic CD. Please watch the intro. The intro doesn't even play when you play as Tails. I assume that Tails can just fly to the end, basically. Yep. Then why ask? I don't know. I don't know. No time stones? No, nope, not going for time stones, not going for good future. I'm just trying to beat the game. Forgot to get the speed shoes at the beginning of the level. Forgot about that. Uh, hey, Shui, you want to get that, please? Someone, thank you. Thank you very much. Whoopsies. Why would you make the game less fun for yourself by getting the time stones? Agreed. CD is like one-tenth of a game without the generators and such? Yeah, just the good one-tenth of the game. With Tails, I can get up here. Yeah. Cool. Sorry I'm not, uh, reading chat too much, but it's kind of difficult, because the game, uh, the game's a fast, and there's a lot happening. 
And unlike the adventure games, I have to actually play. I have to, like, look at the screen and do inputs. I don't know what the fuck that is, so stop asking. Mods, if anyone mentions fucking Filthy Frank again, ban them immediately. That's an order. Shoot to kill. You just wanted to know? I don't know what it is. There you go, there's my thoughts. Now shut up. That's kind of rude. Yeah, you're right. I was just uh, annoyed by that one person. I figured it was some, like, annoying spamming thing. You're right. Mods, you don't have to murder anyone. Unless they're really annoying about it. Oh, they said thanks for the spreadsheet? Okay. Glad they like it, whoever they are. I should have cooldown in chat? I like being able to talk with people, though. But yeah, some people spam shit like that. When do I think knights will come back? Ah. You don't think he actually said thanks for the spreadsheet? Then I don't know what the fuck is going on. Let's just stop talking about it. How about that? My spreadsheet is pretty helpful. Uh, you're welcome. I made it to be helpful. Get that. Uh, Cosmic Metal, thank you very much for the donation. Would I say people are ignorant towards Sonic because of the American butchering? Oh, definitely. Absolutely. Which is not their fault. I mean, who the hell is going to look up translations of the, uh, of the Japanese manuals? Only weirdos like me are going to do that. Most fun CD playthrough is speedrunning the generators. Uh, I tried learning uh, fast route through getting the generators. Uh, the problem is figuring it out is annoying because the generators are annoying. Is Mobius an Americanization? Yeah, it is. That's not a thing in Japan. Never was. No Mobius, no Mobians. None of that. I have to admit the music is a tier above the others for Sonic CD? Oh yeah, absolutely. Of course it is. Which zones do I prefer the US soundtrack? None. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, I wanted that, I think. I just went all the way to the bottom. I forgot. Whoops. I am aware, Chili Pepper. Uh, Solbinku is a viewer and uh, has talked to me about that video many a time. This song is serious Streets of Rage vibes. Does it? I don't know if I would agree with that. Do I have a Discord? No, I do not. Sorry. You have? Solbinku, yeah. I mean, you were messaging me a bunch on Twitter about uh, just Sonic stuff in general for that video, weren't you? I have not actually watched it. Uh, I don't really watch many gaming YouTube videos in general. I don't really like to watch long video essay stuff. Uh, not really my thing. I also don't watch other Sonic tubers, really. Oops. Hold on. Sorry. Give me a sec. There we go. Okay. Back. Good to go. Brian makes long vis video essays but doesn't like watching them? Yeah, pretty much. Do I have to watch them because I make them? I also wouldn't say what I make are video essays, because they're not scripted. Is it a video essay if I just talk to my friend about my opinion on a game I played? How am I doing? I'm doing pretty okay. I don't use Twitter, Twitter anymore? Yeah, I uh, stopped using Twitter completely. Because it's a sewer. That. Someone please get that. Humanity is not ready for Twitter. It's more like humanity is not built for Twitter. It's like... This is not how human brains are meant to socialize. Someone gonna get that? You're gonna fucking make me do it? Okay, there you go. Thank you. Yeah, Quartz Squadron is my favorite zone in the game. I think it's the most fun. Also, yes, the music in this zone is so good. Sonic CD is better than Heroes? Gabriel, I could tell you're a big Sonic CD fan. Uh, I am not. I mean, I like the game well enough, but, um... Definitely my least favorite of the original games.
think this is a waste of time. Yeah, it is. I think I do want to go up here, right? I remember. Ah, uh, you're welcome, Solbinku. Sorry I didn't watch it. It's not my kind of video. Oh, fuck. I don't time travel? Well, time travel is just a waste of time when you're just trying to beat the game. And I know the present layouts. I don't know the past or future layouts. Alright, this is fine. We got an easy out here. Let's just do this. Do I have plans to play Sonic Advance 3 live? Uh, you'd like to see my skills? Well, I'll probably play it uh, on stream at some point, but I do not expect a presentation of my skills, because that game requires you to be in practice, because it is very complex to play well. And, uh, I am not in practice. Whoops. Oh yeah, the zone boss here uh, is terrible. Favorite Sonic OST? Stop asking that, everybody! Why does everyone keep asking that? I don't know! There's too many games with good soundtracks. You're interested to hear what I have to say about Lost World and Forces? I mean, Lost World is just gonna be me shitting on the game in every single facet constantly the entire time. Forces will be interesting. Because I do not hate that game like everyone else does. Pick one so you can get angry at me? Uh... It's impossible. It's impossible. I give up. Two hour rant on the decision to add a run button? Oh, there are things to say about the run button. Oh, I'm just realizing how picking tails was actually a great idea. Because flight will make this zone less of a nightmare. Yep. Fuck. Maybe not. Is Wacky Workbench, uh, the least, uh, the worst classic zone? Yes. Are the Sonic Boom games really that bad? I don't know, I've never played any of them. zone is fine. I would say the zone is the polar opposite of fine. For the sake of my sanity, don't play Rise of Lyric. You know, I was thinking we could stream Rise of Lyric, because that game's probably boring as fuck, and I probably barely have to pay attention. So we could just hang out and uh, chat while I play through that game. What are my thoughts on the Sonic Boom TV series? Uh, I don't care for it, but uh, it can be funny at times. I'll give it that. Good. Well, now we're at the top. 
which is bad. On this zone, it's bad. This zone is designed inverse of a typical Sonic zone. You don't want to be at the top of the level. Yep. Hello? Well, that was weird. Make a 12-hour video essay on why Lost World is a cinematic disaster. Honestly, I don't even know the story of Sonic Lost World. I only saw... went through it once, and that was so long ago. Only Act 1 is the top ad? I've never bothered to look at the level layouts of uh, Wacky Workbench. I feel like that's something that should just come with Sonic level or Sonic games. Like a, a map that you can view would be nice. All I need to know is Zavok is the greatest character ever conceived in fiction. Well, I already know that. Wait, can I just not bother? Like, because I'm Tails, can I just fly up? Oh, no. My flight ended there. If I'm feeling masochistic, play Sonic 1 on GBA? I'm not. I'm not feeling masochistic at all. Zavok or... Dog! Oh! I forgot that did that. Zavok or Shadow? What kind of question is that? It's like, would you rather be given a hundred dollars, or would you rather get punched in the face? Tough choice. I don't know what I want. It's a very compelling option. Savok is the hundred dollars, obviously. <laughs> what version of CD is this? This is Sonic CD Miracle Edition. The mod for the decomp that's very similar to, like, Forever and Absolute in Air. What 3D Sonic game has my favorite atmosphere? Heroes. What's different? Uh, like the other things, it has like a bunch of options you can configure. Sonic has the drop dash and uh, insta shield. Uh, Miracle Sonic was added, which is like a super Sonic with the time stones. It lets you time travel whenever you want. Um, and a bunch of other like fixes and tweaks and stuff. Alright. Most overrated zone of all time. This zone fucking sucks. I take that back? Absolutely not, because it's the truth. The zone gimmick here of those blue fan things that swap what layer you're on is incredibly confusing and weird and terrible. But damn, uh, the OST slaps. Yeah, the OST is great. Not the- what the fuck just happened? Okay. So well, that's a thing. Best Pikmin game? Either three or four, I would say.
Look at this amazing Sonic CD level design here. So good. How silly of me to have earlier accidentally flipped to the wrong layer. Wait, what? Okay, so that doesn't even work at all. That's just a weird dead end because Sonic CD has amazing level design. There we go. Obvi obviously, everyone knows that these blue flippers control how the fucking ground behaves. It just makes all the sense in the world. Jesus Christ, this fucking zone. Alright, I'm just gonna go down. Get me the fuck out of here. Would I say Mania improves this stage? Uh, yes, in that Mania completely throws out this trash level design and makes brand new levels out of the CD levels. Because they were like, wow, this level design is bad. Let's fix that. Well, I am at the bottom bottom now. I ever played Sonic Schoolhouse? Yes, I did, back when I was a little kid. Any zones I dislike and find impossible to complete? I mean, there are plenty that I dislike, but impossible to complete? No. Playing Sonic CD like Sonic 2 is an extremely mid-game, and it's still the best way to play the game. So to swap between floors, you need to swap between the blue sphere and the blue sphere. Exactly. And it's so well communicated that that controls that, isn't it? Collecting ring monitors triggers your OCD. What do I need those for? They are the useless to me. They updated Mill Sprite. That's neat. Yeah, they gave him proper red eyes. I don't know why his sprite had him with white eyes. It looks really weird. Also, it makes it so that it plays... Uh, start a speedway bad future during the metal race instead of the boss fight uh so you can actually appreciate metal's theme that's a very good change that miracle edition makes this is one of my favorite zones in this game this one is like the most designed like a traditional sonic level along with quartz quadrant and it's pretty fun to just play through Will I ever play with the U.S. soundtrack? I've played with the U.S. soundtrack before. There's some good tracks in there. I actually really like Metal's theme. Uh, Start a Speedway Pass, the U.S. version, is very good. I don't know if I wanted to go down here, but I did. Oh yeah, I did. It's probably because the color scheme conflicted with Sonic's. But there's already red on Metal's sprite on his shoes, so they already had the red there for that palette. Metal uses the exact same color palette as Sonic, doesn't he? I assume. And there, uh, yeah, there's another spring there. do this. That's not even a Tails thing. You can get up here as Sonic, too.
Just do this. There we go. That's the one unfortunate thing about Metallic Madness. I do like the level design there, but you can do that. I don't know if that was in the original CD game, but it's in the 2011 uh, Retro Engine version. And again, Sonic can do that too. That's not a tail skip. Whoops. Yeah, the original you can get up there too. This part could be a bitch. Oh yeah, but I have tails though, so this will be nice and easy. Oh yeah, you have to get back on this. You haven't done the mini Sonic segment in years? Yeah, it's unfortunate because all the level design there is good. You just don't have to play it. It's the precursor to Sonic Adventure. Eli, uh, thank you for the donation. Uh, is it just you or is paying tax on donating to charity or super chats on Patreon just evil to me? Also, love your content. Thank you very much, Eli. Uh, you have to pay taxes on donating charity? I never even knew that. Super chats, I understand because technically you are buying something. You are buying the ability to have your message appear there all big and get my attention. Wow, I hit that without getting hit, and then I got hit anyway. Patreon, though, uh, actually, because I looked into this when I set up the Patreon, I'm like, how does that work? Uh, you can, uh, have no tax on that if it is a pure donation, as long as you don't offer anything. Which I'm not offering anything. Uh, at least in the U.S., donations are non-taxable. Have I watched where my subscribers are from? A little bit, but not very closely. Obviously, the vast majority is from America, and then second is England, and then uh, third is Brazil. A lot of Brazilians watching. Brazilians either love me or Sonic, and I don't know which one. Wasn't there supposed to be another final boss after this originally? Uh, there was in the Christian Whitehead version. They were going to add something. I don't know if that was originally going to be in the game. All right, there we go. That's Sonic CD down. Uh, give me a bit to switch over. Now we're on to the good stuff. Brazil loves me. Uh, thank you. I guess they do. We're good. Hey, Sonic White, what's up? Uh, I'm doing well. I'm playing the Sonic games. Okay, we'll continue on the no-save train. Hmm, I'm not gonna ask the chat who to play, because then it'll be flooded with garbage. Uh... Let's go with Knuckles, because why not? This game is really not designed for Knuckles, and his moveset is barely useful in this game. So let's go with him. Playing on the story order? I mean, I'm also playing in the, the best order to get the best experience out of the games. Yep. It's just the most smooth progression from 1 to CD to 2. For 3K, I gotta play Sonic. I was kind of thinking of pl about playing Amy in that, too. Because I, I have the Superstars Amy, and I haven't done a full playthrough with it yet, and I want to try it. You would always recommend CD after the trilogy? I just feel like that's such whiplash to go from the the clear progression of 1 to 2 to 3 to then go backwards to something that's so similar to Sonic 1. Hey, some guy, what's up?
Oh, shit. You know? I'm fucking up so bad against the bosses today. Why would you go from the best class of game to the worst class of game? Agreed. Is Pariah from the USA or is he hidden in Japan? Yeah, obviously I'm American. Is that not obvious? I'm gonna say it. I think Chemical Plan is a bit overrated. I'll be honest. It's a really cool zone, aesthetically. The music is great. But, uh... There's not that much to these levels, really. That overrated does not mean bad. I think it's a really good zone. But it is overrated. Oops. I'll be playing Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Bro, I've only played Yakuza 0. I have a million other games to get to before I get to that one. Those pipes, to determine which way you're going, is the most ridiculous shit ever. It's whether or not the timer is on an odd or even-numbered second. The odd uh, will send you to the fastest routes. Uh, the evens will send you to slower routes. Although I think that one, they send you to the same place either way. No! Oof. That was close. Classic Sonic is kind of overrated. Bro, these games are so much fun! I'll be one of the people to overrate it. I'm fine with that. Absolutely. Playing Mania? Not today, no. Just the originals. Oh, Knuckles can't jump high enough to effectively skip this boss, so I have to actually fight it, kind of. I haven't seen that boss attack in years. How was CD? It was alright. It was fine. How many Canadians watch my content? Uh, probably a small percentage. Probably similar to, like, England, I would assume. Am I gonna review the Sonic movies? I'll cover them in some way. Alright, now this. See, fucking Chemical Plant overrated? Now this is a zone. This is what I'm talking about. Shit. That's a weird lane shift you can do there. You love the music here? Yeah, the music in the zone is very good. I mean, all the music in these games is great. Mystic Cave is the Goat Sonic 2 stage? I love Mystic Cave. I think it's a very underrated zone. Hey, here's a use for Knuckles gliding. Look at that. It was useful for something. Here is the one part, Knuckles might not be able to make this, where you need a spin dash to get up here. Fuck. That's the only part in all of Sonic 2, I believe, that it requires a spin dash. This boss, uh, in these versions of the games, functions a little differently because, uh, how much wider the arena is. You cannot, uh, spin dash off the pillars as effectively.
Really, the bo aspect ratio. The thing is, you could have just kept the pillars in the same place and just put up walls. They do that in other boss fights. I can't get up that this boss sucks with Knuckles. Oh, is the camera not supposed to pan upwards? I forgot that. I haven't played the original Genesis versions of the Sonic games in so long. I keep on forgetting that uh, you're not in the air long enough to uh, combo off Eggman here. He's doing his job as the hard mode? I mean, kind of. Barely. Why would you? Yeah, why Why even play the original Genesis games? Unless you're like a speedrunner where the minute differences matter. It j just play the decomps. This zone, also not my favorite. Casino Night is way more overrated. Yeah, this is, this zone is also. Y'all know how I feel about the pinball shit in Sonic. Pinball zones to me are all about avoiding the pinball to the best of your ability. Can Knuckles even get up here? He probably can. Okay, I don't know if he'd be able to get over that edge with climbing. And then the really weird level design here, where you just go out of the bottom of the table. There's nothing up there. It's just to get points, I guess. Yeah, it is kind of designed like a CD stage subsonic sparkle. You're not wrong. It is very weird. Pinball zones are advertising gimmicks, no more, no less. Might not be wrong about that. Oopsies. I don't remember Act 2's layout nearly as well as Act 1, but I do remember this. Yeah, I fell down to a lower route earlier. I don't even remember where. I just roasted Modern Sonic in my Generation Story video. I honestly... I mean, yeah, I have criticisms for it. I think it has problems. What, is it like what I say that I think the names of the versions of Sonic should be Sonic and worse Sonic? That was a joke, but also kind of how I feel. I was like, okay, I like one Sonic more than the other. Big deal. I'm just some fucking asshole on the internet. The first good boss fight we've gotten to today... Look at this. Now what if every boss was like that? Have I ever met or talked to any well-known Sonic voice actors? Absolutely not, no. Why are there two Sonics now? It's so dumb. I mean, there have always been multiple Sonics. That's not a new thing. Modern Sonic was a shift in direction for the series. It is a different Sonic. Shiro Maikawa writes Sonic differently than how he was written prior, uh, and, ha and when he's not writing. Plus, there was, like, American Sonic, there's always been the cartoons and comics, the OVA. There's always been multiple Sonics. It's not a new thing. Mid-top zone. Yeah, uh, this one. Not awful, but not great. Do 
do I prefer Maikawa's design? Oopsies. Or Maikawa's Sonic? Uh, it's not my preference, but I think his Sonic is perfectly good. It's pretty, uh, similar to the original Sonic. What is my preference? Original Sonic. This zone is just Blue Green Hill. Is Blue Emerald Hill, I'll have you know? Because it's supposed to be Green Hill in the past. Do I make a lot of money streaming? Uh, no. I mean, sometimes streams can do well if people uh, donate a lot with Super Chats or whatever, but the ad revenue is quite bad on streams. I'm just doing it because I like it. And it's a way to bridge the gaps in between me making videos, because otherwise, you know, you might be waiting a week or two in between videos sometimes, but here's a way for me to do something that's relatively quick and easy uh, to uh, keep the channel alive. This'll be less bad with Knuckles, because I can climb. <laughs> Raya is a six-figure hype streamer with corporate sponsors? If only, but, uh... I cannot allow myself to sell out that way. I, I would be too disgusted with what I became. <laughs> I keep reading chat and getting fucked for it. Brian has a limo and a private jet, you heard? You should cite your source. <laughs> you think you kind of overplayed these OG games? They don't click anymore? I kind of feel that way about the adventure games, personally. <laughs> My biggest problem with, uh... This version of Sonic 2 is that, uh, I love... Uh, the hidden palace that, uh, Christian and Simon made for this version of the game. I think... This is the faster way to go here. Wait, Knuckles can't get there. All right, going this way then. Yeah, do a goddamn spin dash, motherfucker. I love Hidden Palace, but I also love Mystic Cave. And you can't play Mystic Cave Act 2 if you want to do Hidden Palace. I want to play all of them. Why you gotta make me choose? Are we going to Hidden Palace? I don't know. I don't know. Should I? Should I go to Hidden Palace? The boss of Hidden Palace really sucks. <laughs> I hate that fucking boss. I have to choose. It's a metaphor for life. I suppose it is. Hidden Palace should have just been unlocked after getting all the Chaos Emeralds instead. It'd be kind of weird if it just gets, like, inserted randomly in the middle of your playthrough, though. So does the Mystic Cave boss? Yeah, but at least that boss is over in a flash. The Hidden Palace boss takes forever. Uh! Wait, we can get back up. There we go. Apparently Team Forever is planning to reintroduce Hidden Palace in a different way. Well, when are they gonna fucking do that? Because it's been years. They keep on taking it out of the game, and then people have to mod it back in. And going, stop taking it out, motherfuckers. Hot Take Superstars was fine. I like Superstars. I thought that game was really fun. Minus the bosses. I think this is the way to go, right? Yes. 
Uh, I think you want to go down here. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Do I look up to YouTubers like some call me Johnny? No, not really. I've watched a couple of some call me Johnny videos. Uh, it's all right. Not really uh, my favorite. I mean, like I've said before, I don't really watch a lot of gaming stuff on YouTube in general. Don't watch a lot of other people that cover Sonic. Why is the shield gray? Because Knuckles is not blue, and on the Genesis, there were color palette limitations, so... gray. I guess they could have made it red. Kind of a weird choice. What do I like to watch, then? A lot of what I watch on YouTube is, like, science stuff. Like, uh, science communicators, uh, educational things, uh, sometimes history. Like, a YouTube channel that I've been watching a lot lately is PBS Space Time, which talks a lot about astrophysics and, uh, space and new discoveries in the, the science field, and it's, like, super, like, in their stuff. It's like, they go into the math and the equations and they talk about what happened one twentieth of a millisecond after the Big Bang and shit. It's like very deep level science stuff. Pseudoscience? Not pseudoscience. Uh, real science. Oh yeah, Kurt Skazat. That's also a very good channel that I like. Um, Veritasium. Uh, it's okay to be smart. I'm a big science nerd. I love science. This zone, by the way, overhated. This is a good zone. It's fun. Did it? Are there any other channels like mine, though? Uh, I assume. I can't be the only person that came up with uh, this format. Or do you mean channels like mine that I like? Uh, as far as gaming stuff... Uh, I watch Nitro Rad. I, li I like his videos. Uh, I, I was watching Arlo for a while, but I kind of got tired of it. Uh... Okay. With Sonic, if you have the peel out, you can just blast past that thing, which is really cool. Very Sonic. Uh, that he can just speed through with something slowing him down. Nitro Red's a Nitro Chad. Yeah, he's awesome. I would say Nitro Red was somewhat of an inspiration for this channel, I guess. Because, you know, he's like gaming review video man. Uh, which, as we all know... Oh, fuck. As we all know, if you want to do video game reviews on YouTube with live-action segments, you have to do terrible AVGN skits and all this unfunny, stupid crap, and, uh, forego reviewing the game to talk about a bunch of dumb shit and make jokes and shit. And Nitro Rad just doesn't do that. He just talks about the game, and he talks more about the gameplay and the game design. Uh, he talks about the movesets a lot, uh, and what makes the game actually fun to play. Uh... Which I was like, yeah, I like that. That's, uh, that's what I want to see out of YouTube. Hence why that's how I handle things. Oh, wait, I think I go left here. You think I'm the best YouTuber? Well, thank you very much. I don't agree, but I appreciate it. Boha! I'm surprised I didn't get crushed there. You think a Sonic 3D Blast widescreen patch would be cool? That would be hard, I assume, because it's an isometric game. I assume that's harder than doing a... Wait, I just looped around. Oh, do I have to get up there? There we go.
When Science of Sonic video? That's still coming. It'll happen. I shouldn't have mentioned a video that I want to do, because then people are like, Where is it? it? I have videos planned for so far ahead. Uh, bu -bu. Your opinion on the Sonic was never good IGN comment? I mean, it's mainly just playing up to the, the narrative, is all that really was. I don't really take it seriously. It just was a really good title to ape off of for my review series. That The fuck? The fuck? My jump inputs are getting, like, eaten. Is the science video gonna be about the physics of the games? Yeah. Well, kind of the physics of the games, but more so it's like... How the Sonic games incorporate real physics into the gameplay, and, like, how things would work in real life, and would they work or not. And surprisingly, in a lot of cases, actually, yes. Yeah, Subsonic Sparkle, it seems like the moment you hit the oil, you can't jump right away. You have to, like, sink into it a little bit. That's what happened to me there. Uh, is there... No, there's... Is there something up here? I don't think. I think it's just, like, a monitor or something, right? Another very underrated zone in this game. The zone rules, and y'all are just bad. Oh, hey, look, I avoided that. You know how? By not mindlessly holding right. It's almost like this entire game was teaching you to not do that. Almost like. That was me. I screwed up and got hit there. Oh, fuck. Well, we're on the lower route now. What the hell? That bounced off me when I was gliding. That was weird. I don't know if climbing here is faster than taking the corkscrew, but I'm gonna do it anyway. How many people watch in England? I don't think YouTube gives you, like, exact numbers. It gives you, like, a percentage. I want to say it's, like, 10, 11 percent, something like that. Maybe 15. Damn it. Again, that was me screwing up. Will I ever do an Advanced 3 live stream? Yeah, I'll probably stream through uh, all the Advanced games. Uh, sure. Running on the gears is so damn boring. Yeah, that that does suck, for sure. Did I ever watch Ben 10 as a kid? If so, what was my favorite alien? I did watch Ben 10 as a kid. Uh, favorite alien? Hmm. I'm trying to remember all of them, because there were like a bunch. Cannonbolt is a cool one. A lot of the, like, uh, ones in the original Ben 10 were, like, really lame. Like, uh, Forearms or Diamond Head were just, like, so, like, bland and generic and boring. Heat Blast or whatever the fuck his name was. Just, like, Fire Guy. Lame. Lame. Oh, Accelerate was cool. That was a very cool design for a fast alien. Upgrade, though? Upgrade is a very cool, uh, alien. Very cool design. 
We were talking about this on a stream a while ago, but like Ben 10 was a really good fucking idea. Like it was very well realized, very well thought out. Really uh, hit that appealing to kids in the right way where it's not like, hey kids, you love this, right? It's like, nah, kids are gonna love this fucking shit. And they did, rightfully so, because it was actually pretty cool. As far as like a kids action series, go series goes, totally understandable why it became the big success that it is, right? Ah, damn it. Off the top of my head, I'm gonna say Accelerate is uh, probably my favorite of the Ben 10 Aliens. Too bad the reboot sucks. I've never seen any of the Ben 10 later things, like the reboot and whatever. I stopped watching. I was, like, around the age where I was getting out of cartoons uh, by the time they did the uh, follow-up series where they were a bit older. What are my thoughts on Rolling Rascal? Cool game! Uh, go back him on Kickstarter. Which of these games do I think is the strongest in terms of pacing? Um... I would say Sonic 2 is probably the most well-paced, uh... Until you get to, uh... Sky Chase. That's when the pacing falls apart. I haven't been on this low route in forever, so we're gonna see what happens. Like, as great as Sonic 3 & Knuckles is, it does kind of eventually feel a bit long in the tooth, I would say. For that kind of game to be, you know, two hours, two and a half hours maybe on your first playthrough, uh, that's quite a bit. Oh, fuck, I forgot to go faster that. All kinds of low roots today. Yeah, no, you don't. Oops. I was trying to hit the bound the bumper and uh when you jump, if you hold jump when hitting them, they launch you further, but I pressed it too early, and, uh, glid, glided, glowed, into my death. The gun gameplay was good in Shadow? It was! It worked, honestly. It's a stupid idea, but they did that stupid idea pretty well. Oh, I just... Oh, no, I don't die. Aha! Look at that. Look at that. Knuckles is useful in Sonic 2. This has actually been a really fun playthrough. I just love Knuckles' moveset in these games. So much fun. The glide ability and what it allows you to do. Shit. I should kill these things instead of just trying to avoid them. Weird how Knuckles is immune to that while gliding. I, that's a weird thing. Oh, fuck. Well. Is this faster? I can't tell. I think it is. Knuckles climbing is too slow? It really is. It absolutely is. Probably added by the mod. You missed the wall spin dash so much. Literally the coolest thing they ever gave Knuckles. And, uh, yeah. I wish it was in, uh, more games. 
Ow. I ever played Prap of the Rapper? Nope, never did. I uh, didn't get a PlayStation until a PS4, so I missed out on tons of PlayStation games. Am I a fan of survival horror games? Absolutely. Uh, Resident Evil, Dead Space. Uh, I like The Evil Within as well. Whole bunch of uh, survival horrors. Is there a mod to speed up climbing? Probably. That would be nice. I should look into that. Alright. Now for boredom. Am I going to play P3R? Uh, eventually. Not uh, dying to play it right now. Because I played through the Persona games not too long ago. So they're still pretty fresh in my mind. Music is so nice here, though. Every time we get to a bad part of these games, someone's like, But the music! That doesn't make up for it! You can have good music and a good game at the same time, you know? Is there a mod that makes Tails actually good? What does that mean? What's wrong with Tails? Have I played Spider-Man 2? Like, uh, the one on PS2 GameCube, Sam Raimi Spider-Man 2 game? Uh, a little bit, not very much. Uh, Extra Gamer, do I remember you from the Mario Kart stream? Not exactly, no. Apologies, I can't remember everyone. There's a lot of people in the stream. You know what's even worse than this, though? The Sky Chase sequence in Sonic 4 Episode 2. Oh my god. It's so fucking bad. When I start 3K, you're gonna start it too to see if you can go faster than me? Uh, well, we gotta determine what character we're gonna play, so we're on even footing. What do I mean, Sonic 4 is peak? Uh, no. Uh, Dazzlefizz, thank you very much for the donation. I, I really appreciate it. Can't wait for Sonic Team to learn their long, wrong lessons from Frontiers. Uh, I mean, yeah, obviously. Sonic Team learning the wrong lessons, that, like... People call the the recent era of Sonic games meta. I would call them learning the wrong lessons era. That to me is uh, more appropriate. Ah, Knuckles, your low jump, you motherfucker. <laughs> You find it funny how the Death Egg crashes three times in the classic games? Uh... Well, hey, that fits, because they reuse the same exact, like, story setup three times in the classic games as well. Did I actually play the level? I'll actually play the level, how about that? I haven't gone through, uh, this level in forever. Oh, shit. Yeah, they reused the lore of each island, too. It's very weird. Sonic 1 doesn't have any of that stuff with, like, the ancient civilization, but I assume it's still the same deal, right? <laughs> Which is why I like the fan theory of they were actually all one island. Because uh, in the Sonic 3 manual, they talk about how a part of the the old civilization was sent into the sky. So I like to think that that is Angel Island and the other islands are other parts of it. It fits well, it cleans things up, and it's pretty cool to imagine. Where 
Where's the launcher that sends you out of here? I think it's that. Frankie Hedgehog, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, you're enjoying the stream? Hope I'm doing well. Thank you. I am doing well. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Where the fuck do you go here? I guess I go left? Uh, I'll just... Nope, can't go over. What the fuck is going on? Have I played Classic Heroes? I haven't played it, actually. This level doesn't communicate too well visually. It does not. Go down, go left. Oh, I see. In here. Yeah, there you go. But I forgot about all that. <laughs> Whoopsies. Wow, no checkpoints. Well, I just didn't hit any, I think. This level is completely unplayable as Sonic. I don't know if I'd go that far. Actually, you know what? Just do the propeller skip? I could. But I could do this. Haha. -ha. That's a cool skip that would matter if the propeller skip didn't exist. Am I almost done with the Sonic 4 Episode 1 review? It's not going to be Episode 1. It's going to be both Sonic 4s together in one video. So I figure no one cares about those games very much, so making two videos is uh, probably unnecessary. Better to get them both done in one go. I mean, there's got to be someone out there whose favorite Sonic game is Sonic 4, right? Some poor unfortunate soul. They're out there. I did the exact same thing. All right, propeller skip time. Uh, the L Games. Thank you very much for the donation. Well, too late for the propeller skip. I hit a checkpoint now. Probably a kid. Yeah, probably a kid. Kid who's never played any other Sonic games, and it was their first game, so they really like it. And that's okay. They'll grow up, and they'll learn the truth one day. The cold, hard truth. Okay, this time, I'm not gonna die. Aha! Look at me, I can play video games. So good that they removed the speed caps in this, by the way, because how many people were killed by this as a kid? I know I fucking was. It's such a bizarre thing that they would have that there when the speed caps are a thing. Like, surely in playtesting that must have killed players constantly. Honestly, we don't really think about it much these days. But a big thing that sets uh, Sonic 2 and 3 and & Knuckles as better than their previous games is the removal of speed caps. They got rid of the ground speed cap in Sonic 2 and then the air speed cap in 3K. And, like, that's a big fucking deal. That makes the games significantly better. And CD got rid of the roll lock, but because that was by a different team, uh, that change did not stick around. Ow. Bold of me to assume they were carefully playtesting each game? I mean, there was playtesting. Surely the majority of players would be killed in uh, that part. Roll locking, what's that? Uh, roll locking is a feature in the original Sonic games where when you roll on the ground, uh, you can't control yourself left or right. Uh, and when you jump, same thing, you can't control yourself. Uh, it's only when you are running or jump from a run or, or fly off an edge or hit a spring you can control yourself in the air. Do 
You think Rolock would have just ruined the time travel with CD, so they dropped it? I don't really think it would make that much of a difference. But, um... I just think it's a bad mechanic. You never noticed it somehow? It's very noticeable sometimes when you're rolling and you jump and you can't steer yourself. In some ways, it's kind of a cool feature, but it actually kind of sucks. Okay, so here's a mod I have on. This is Expanded Death Egg Zone. Adds an extra section to it at the beginning before you get to the boss. That gives you an opportunity if you explore around that you can collect 50 rings and use Supersonic for the final boss, which I think is a nice little reward. Uh, but also, it just gives you a chance to listen to the Death Egg music a bit. I think it's a really good mod. I think it's very cool. But I'm just gonna go on to the fight. And that was a boss. Also gives you rings for the, uh... Oh yeah, you have to beat uh, Mecha Sonic without getting hit to get all 50. Yeah, there are monitors around. There's exactly 50 rings in this level to then use for the final boss. But even if you don't do that, it does give you rings for the final boss, which admittedly makes it comically easy, but also this boss sucks, so I'm okay with that. Uh, Dasper, thank you very much for the donation. Do I think the brief spike in drag friction work as a balancing mechanic for 3D physics space platformers when uncurling from a roll? Remember you talked about the subject I played during, uh, when I played Rascal? Yeah, I've thought about that, Das Spear, as like, basically when you uncurl, you slow down a bit to kind of equate to as if you jumped to slow down. Wow, this is, uh, this boss is now nothing. A hundred dollars? It's not a hundred dollars, Eli. I'm not familiar with the currency, but it's not a hundred dollars. Conversions, you know. Anyway, uh, yeah, I thought about that, and that might be a, a way to do it, but I have other ideas of how you could make, uh, curling and uncurling in 3D work better. Well, there you go. Wow, that boss is nothing when you have rings. So I guess it's understandable why they, uh, why they don't give you rings, but man, that boss is just fucking boring otherwise. Uh, when I critique Sonic continuity, I have to also critique the continuity of, uh, games because every game is flawed continuity. I mean, yeah, lots of games have fucked up continuity. But there are definitely series out there that can have, like, actual real continuity that makes sense and is consistent. Plenty of them do. Usually ones made by real writers and real people who know how to do world building and stuff. Kingdom Hearts be like- Kingdom Hearts. I don't think continuity- I don't think the writers even know what that is. What series have flawless continuity? I mean, I don't know if it's completely flawless, but something like Mass Effect, I think, is excellent continuity. Spark the Electric Jester at a patch that rewrote the story because the sequel retcon stuff? That's fucking weird. That's some Star Wars uh, special edition shit. Well, guess Sakai, a lot of big games do get, like, real writers. Just not Sonic. Not Sonic theme. Is this too absolute? Yes, it is. Alright, now it's time for the next game. The final game of the evening. What's wrong with an author going back, uh, and correcting a story to fit continuity? Personally, I feel it's very lazy to just retcon things that you don't like anymore and, like, undo uh, what you've done in the past. I feel like you should uh, be beholden to what you've done. You gotta work with what you gave yourself, you know? In my opinion. Because otherwise, nothing has any consequences and nothing matters. Alright, who are we doing for this one? I kind of want to do Superstars Amy, because I haven't played through the game of Superstars Amy yet. But I've played as all the other characters already this stream, but we haven't done Sonic. So maybe I should do Sonic. 
I could do Amy another time. Why is Amy? I am seeing people say Amy. Who cares about Sonic? Is this air? Yeah, this is air. All right, we're doing Amy. That's a little broken, I think. Okay, whatever. Yeah, and this is Amy with her move set from Superstar. So she has her double jump and the hammer rush. No Sonic this stream. Origins Amy was so bad. She was. Do I have a mod to let me skip cutscenes or something? Yes, I do. It's very nice. You hate how every act has a boss? Yeah, I'm not a fan, because the boss is not very good. Do I prefer the more grounded and detailed art, or the more surreal stuff from the Oshima games? I mean, there's still weird stuff in this. Look at those fucking plants that are twisting up and down. There's still, like, abstract weirdness in here. Just a little bit less. I, I really feel like it's not that far of a departure from the previous games in terms of look and aesthetic. I played Sonic CD in this stream? I did. Uh, thoughts on Angel Island? Uh, I don't really have many significant thoughts. It's a fine setting for the game. Is this Amy mod on my spreadsheet? Of course it is. If you see a mod, it's on the spreadsheet. That's how it works. Yeah, it's Helicanistic, man. It's a blend. Eli, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, will I do Spark the Electric Jester 3 on the stream? Uh, probably. I haven't even played the game for myself yet. Here's a nice thing about Air also. You can turn this usually boring nothing set piece into gameplay. If you get hit by any of those explosions, you get hit. So it's like, can you keep the fire shield for the boss? Uh, which is much better than hold right and do nothing. Whoopsies. And then I killed myself in the dumbest way possible. They improved the physics and poured it all... Oh, oh, bleh. That's what happens when you don't play the retro engine games, but uh, no one's going to decomp Origins. By the way, how's the volume? I think this game is a little bit louder than the other games, but I, I, I tried to match the volume, so it's pretty much the same. Let me know. Volume's good? All right, cool. I fucking did the exact same thing. God, I suck. Well, I game over. Well, I game over at the very beginning of Sonic 3 Knuckles because <laughs> I'm trying to do fancy bullshit and I suck too bad to do it. Am I alright over there? Look, I've been sucking at the bosses all day today. <laughs> and this episode of Pariah Never Learns, that's how I always am with games. We've gone over this. I cannot stop myself from trying to do the fancy bullshit. 
That's what I was trying to do. There. There. Criticizes bosses, then game overs to them. Look, just because I suck doesn't mean that the boss isn't bad. Oh yeah, Hendister, I know that strat. To get Tails to, like, get stuck bouncing on him. I am familiar with how to do that. See if I can make this with Amy. Nope, too far. Seems like a skill issue. It is a skill issue. Absolutely. Someone said that the Werehog is weaker than Sonic. I said that. It's absolutely true if you think about it. The Werehog needs to sit there and bash uh, Eggman robots for several seconds, whereas Sonic can just plow right through them. Werehog can throw Eggman into space, though. I mean, so can Sonic, apparently, according to, uh, like, the Frontiers boss fights. Dark Gaia depowered Sonic? Yeah, I mean, that kind of makes sense narratively anyway, doesn't it? Not going for super forms? Nope, I'm just playing the game because I want to have fun. Special stages are boring and shitty. Do I like Sage? Nope! I do not like Sage at all, and I hope she does not become a regular. Subsonic Sparkle, you are crazy. <laughs> this level is way better designed than Tidal Tempest. Uh, she is such a nothing character. Well, here's the thing. Sage is similar to Silver in that they try to do a thing with her, but they completely fail horribly. And so she ends up with a character that's just like, she's crap. Just like Silver is. How do you fix her? Uh, I don't know. I haven't thought about it too much, but I don't really want to fix her. I, I just want her to not exist. I'd be okay with that. What the hell just happened? Not a fan of Egg Dad? Not in the slightest. No, I do not like that. Silver is bad in 06, but he's at least well used in some other places. Well, he's certainly not well used in any of the games. <laughs> Am I going to do another Let's Rewrite Story video? Probably. Um, I have at least one in mind that I want to do. I jumped way too early there. I can't get up there. Cry is a Sonic hater? That is true. Oh, fuck you. Ah, fuck. What happens when you fall all over because you suck? Yeah. You could take your leave trip, Telekinistic Man? I like trip. 
She has an effective character arc, in my opinion, which is something we haven't seen in Sonic in forever. Okay, for some reason, Amy, uh, the, the Hammer Rush interacts very weirdly with the walls where those spinny, floaty things are. That's probably what killed me earlier. Ow. I keep reading chat! Is spamming allowed? I'd prefer if you didn't. If you're too aggressive about it, uh, then no. But if I miss a message and you repost it once or twice, that's tolerable. Trip's dragon form is also very, very ugly. Yeah. Uh, the final boss of Superstars especially looks fucking terrible. Amy, the boss destroyer, continuing to do her thing. Yeah, Canal do any. The the stuff that they try to do with Sage in Frontiers is so poorly done and unearned. It's so bad. Why is the background like that there? Must be a mod I have uh, doing that. Oh, some color palettes are fucked up here. That's what's happening. Don't know what's causing that. I'm gonna have to investigate later. Some mod conflicts are going on. Can I get up here? I have no idea. Yes, I can with Amy. But can I actually do... Isn't that like the Tails section? Yeah. Oh, there's a life here. And a special stage ring, which I'm not gonna do, because fuck that. My mic volume is too low? Is it? Sounds fine, it's fine? Okay. Why is the palette distorted? Probably a mod conflict I have going on. I will investigate it after the stream. What the fuck? Oh my goodness. What is happening? Creepy pasta ass palette? Yeah, not wrong. This actually looks sick. It looks like fucking the end of the world is happening. <laughs> Forget, do I want to keep this? I think I do. Yeah. Maybe not. I don't think I need that anymore. Wow. 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 <laughs> this zone is so broken. Marblegarden.exe. Yeah, what the fuck's going on? I'm gonna get killed by my game soon enough. Yeah, I got some crazy mod conflicts. I have no idea what the issue even is. I don't have anything that affects, like, level palettes. Ah, uh, hello? What the fuck is going on?
finished game, right guys? Hey, this is not the game's fault. This is some weird ass mod shit going on. Can I go? Wow. Oh my goodness. Uh, seizure warning here. Uh, look away from the stream until I finish this level. Oh my god. Sorry about this. Oh god. Hey, it's not broken here. Maybe this will unbreak the level. Probably not. Okay, it's less broken. It's still broken, but it's less broken. Oh god. Jesus Christ! Amy broke the game? I doubt it's Amy. What? Uh, okay. Sonic 3 Encore mode. Yeah, that's what this is. Finish game alert again. This is not the game. This is mod conflicts. What? Hello? Grab the goddamn thing, you bitch! There. Who made this? Sonic Team? Yes, they did. Oh, I died. Oh, hello! The universe is fixed! I don't know what happened. The game demanded my death. This really is a Sonic EXE thing. I had to die. It was my destiny. Well, we're back to normal, everyone. You can look at the screen again. Apologies about that. I will investigate later what caused that. Where I playing that 501 Chinese knockoffs? Yeah, apparently. It looks boring now, LMAO. See, what that was is it was a preview of the... what the, What's the game called? Psilocybal? Has anyone seen that game? It's like an indie 3D platformer Crash Bandicoot-like game. And it's all like trippy weird visuals and stuff. Uh. Oh. You think the Amy palette is getting mixed with the rest of the stage? I find that unlikely. Uh, Superstar's Amy has some weird interactions, though, with, like, moving terrain. This mod could use some patches. What are my favorite zones in these Sonic games? When you say these Sonic games, do you mean, like, Rhea Knuckles specifically? Or just the original games in general? Have I ever tried Extra Slot Amy? I mean, this is an Extra Slot Amy. There are multiple Extra Slot Amy's. 
I changed Amy's moveset. Where's the hover from the beginning? Well, this is a different game with a different moveset. Can you kill Eggman before the intro ends? No, you can't. It just does not work. He just won't die. Am I a fan of the Souls genre? Uh, well, I've played all the Dark Souls games themselves, and Bloodborne, and Sekiro, and Elden Ring. I haven't played any Souls likes, though. So I don't know if I would say I'm a fan of the genre. But there are a couple that I've been wanting to try. Like, I want to try Neo. Uh, that one looks good. I can't really think of any others. Lies of P. I've been seeing people going nuts for Lies of P, but I, I don't really understand why. It looks like any other Souls like to me. It doesn't really look like it stands out in any particular way. Yeah, Neo is from the Ninja Gaiden devs. That's why I'm interested in it. It's just well made. Yeah, I guess if it's uh if it's just got the quality cuz that's definitely something that no Souls likes have had, right? They all try to be compete with Dark Souls, but they're just not as good. So I guess if that's Liza P's thing, that does make it stand out as far as Souls likes if it can match the quality of FromSoft. Did anybody else die on that boss a shit ton in Origins? I don't know why. I don't know what happened. But I had a lot of trouble with that boss. <laughs> what is my favorite tarot card? I don't know shit about tarot. I play Binding of Isaac, I know tarot cards. But I don't remember them off the top of my head, A, and I don't know what they, like, signify within tarot. I know what they signify in Binding of Isaac and Persona. <laughs> This game's design is definitely not as tight as Sonic 2's design, which is part of the reason I can see why people like Sonic 2 more than 3K. Uh, but this game's just so big and cool and fun, it's got all the different playable characters and stuff. And if you look at the level design of this game a lot and really compare it, you can see Izuka's design, because uh, this is the first Sonic game he worked on. And then you compare it to Sonic Adventure 1, especially. There is a lot of similarities in the way the level design is done. Even SA2, to some degree, has some very clear, notable Izuka marks. Okay. What are those Izuka marks? I mean, it's really hard to describe in words, because it's like very specific ways of laying out the actual level design itself. Oh, I thought that was the one that you go up. I think that was the one to the left of that. I'm stupid. Video idea, perhaps? What, talking about Izuka level design? I probably wouldn't talk about that in a video.
There's not really much to say about it other than just, like, you can tell that these games are made by the same guy because of the way that it's designed. Another example of that that I would point to is Rayman 1 to Rayman 2, uh, both done by Michel Ancel, was the director of those games. And despite the fact that one's a 2D platformer and one's a 3D platformer, if you compare the two games and how they're designed, they are so similar. Like, the same design ideology. Fuck. Atlas milked Persona 5 for too long? I mean, that's what they do. They milked uh, Persona 4 forever until Persona 5 came out, and now they're milking Persona 5 forever. Uh, okay, hello. I think this Superstar's Amy is a bit on the broken side, I'm gonna be honest. Something's making me feel that way. I don't know what it is. Do you wonder why? Yeah, something. Would I play a Chow Garden mobile game? Probably not. Okay, I didn't get killed that time. Can we get some shinobi love in here? I love the shinobi games. I would like to talk about them at some point on the channel. Because the shinobi franchise, in my opinion, is very underrated for how awesome it is. Why are emblems tied to Chow Garden? To pad out the game. I tried to do it the fancy way. This. There we go. That broke a little bit too, though. All right, that's just for a special ring, right? You hated that barrel as a kid? I'll be honest, I don't think I ever even got this far in, uh, this game as a kid. Because I was playing the original Sonic games when I was, like, three, four years old. Uh, so I didn't come back to them until I was much older. Is this on Origins with mods or something else? This is Sonic 3 Air with mods. Why would I play Origins? Yo, Amy. Skipping one of the most boring, shitty bosses in the game. That's pretty sweet. Is there a mod to get rid of the emblems being attached to the Chow Garden? In Sonic Adventure 1, yes. In Adventure 2, no. Speed through this. There we go. That's a great mod. Whoopsies. Do I prefer the original level order for Three Knuckles? Uh, you mean like the... How is gonna be... Flying Battery uh, earlier in the game? Uh, honestly, no. I think the level order that's there is fine. I really don't care, to be honest. Ah. Ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-
back in my day, we didn't have skippable cutscenes. That was my day, too, brah. Would I ever stream playing Sonic games the way Sega intended, like the original games? Probably not, just because I don't play those versions of the games. Because why would I? Damn, I thought maybe she could make it. Yeah, back in my day, we didn't have Amy either. Oh yeah, I forgot, I gotta do this. The pacing is way better flying battery later, to be honest. Plus, then you get the double feature for Sonic and Knuckles of Mushroom Hill and Flying Battery. So, just two banger zones back to back. Why no emeralds? Because I want to have fun playing this game, and the special stages are boring. Not enough speed. You don't get the hate for Sandopolis? It's mostly all the slow block pushing gimmicks and the, uh, the waiting for the sand. Other than that, I think the zone is okay. But it has, like, a lot of slow auto-scrolling gimmicks. This is probably one of my favorite zones in this game. The music, the aesthetic, and the level design. All excellent here. This Sonic 3 Air? Of course it is. Why would you play anything else? You just think it's blown way out of proportion, the Sandopolis uh, hate? I mean, I don't know. I'd say it's pretty warranted. Considering how great these levels in the, zone, the zones are normally, that one is quite a bit lower than the others. I don't know for certain, but I would imagine this zone was probably done by Yasuhara. This feels more like a Sonic 2 zone than, say, Carnival Night, which feels more like Sonic Adventure. The hell is that in the top there? Back in my day, we was watching Nazo Unleashed. That was my day, too. I watched that. What happened to Zelda was always good? It's been four months. Bro, it was a year before I got back to Sonic was always good. Uh, I'm in a Sonic mood right now, so I'm playing Sonic games. That's what happened. When I feel like playing Zelda again, I'll play Zelda again. People brought up the Barrel of Doom to Yuji Naka and said to blame Yasuhara. Deflecting. That's what that sounds like to me. I don't know if Yuji Naka ever did level design on the original games. I assume so. Probably just because... It, probably everyone did some level design, especially on Sonic 1. Ever play Doom? I played Doom 2016. Uh, that's the only one I played. Really want to play Eternal. I haven't gotten to it yet. Am I going to stream Superstars? Probably. Probably. 
I was reading chat, but I just know that that passivity trap is there. But I was a little late on it, and now we're in this fucky situation. It's weird that this is the final zone of three. Is it? Feels kind of like a final zone to me. It's very eggman basey, this whole construction site and everything. What is my favorite YouTuber? My favorite YouTuber is probably Red Letter Media. Uh, very funny, but also very, like, good and insightful movie reviews. And I'm not even really much of a movie guy. <laughs> like, I watch them review movies that I've never heard of, have no interest in watching, don't care about. Because they're just, uh, real smart guys. You wish we got Mania 2? I'd, I'd prefer Superstars over a Mania 2, honestly. It's too sunny for a final level? Well, that's because it's not the real final level. It's the fake final level. Ah, fuck. Mania has better aesthetics. Personally, I'm tired of pixel art. I actually prefer Superstars over Mania, just because it's something different. You think if the game wasn't split up, it would have been a much bigger success? I agree, Subsonic Sparkle. I remember seeing a review of Sonic & Knuckles at the time it came out, and they opened it with, Yeah, I know, another Sonic game. This is the fifth one of these, just like this. And it's like, yeah, I can totally see that at the time. Because uh, these games were coming out yearly. Uh, one in 1991. One in 92, I think. Was CD also 92 or was it 93? And then Sonic 3 in 94. Sonic and Knuckles in 94. It makes a lot of sense why they wanted to do Knights after this. Um, because they're like, we made too many fucking games that are too similar. We want to do something else. God damn it. Original collision physics? Someone complained to Naka about this. I'm sure he'll fix it while he's in jail. Okay, Sonic uh, CD was 93. Yeah, so it was a Sonic game coming out every single year, and then two, you know, technically two in the same year in 94. He'll fix the collision for a carton of cigarettes. This is funny. That. Ah. Hey, that works out. God damn it. That might be Superstars Amy also, because her collision has definitely been a bit fucky this playthrough. Wait, these games came out in the early 90s? Uh, yes. <laughs> Did you not know that, Mitch? Or is that a joke? That's probably a joke, and I'm stupid. What? Uh... I'm gonna probably take this mod off the spreadsheet, because it's clearly got a lot of problems. This new indie game, Sonic 3 & Knuckles, looks pretty cool. I wonder how a game like this would be received now if there wasn't the history of Sonic setting it all up. It probably would not be that popular, right? If there was no Sonic and Sonic uh, just came out as an indie game, they'd probably be like, eh, it's weird, it's hard to get into, I don't understand it. The physics are strange and bad. These games are releasing soon, Fry has early access. You'd think that, based on what we've been encountering this stream.
Wow, DKC outsold uh, Sonic and Knuckles by eight times. Yeah, because like I was saying, people are getting tired of these kinds of games coming out every single year, and it's the same shit every game. DKC was new and exciting, and it looked different. Have I tried that Agent Stone mod? No, because I don't give a flying fuck about Agent Stone. Oh, do I have big arm on? I didn't realize that. I thought I'd turn that off, because less boss fights is better. But okay, that's fine. Aha! Okay. Amy doesn't have the invincibility, though. I want to see if Amy can double hit him somehow. Well, that's much faster with Amy. Well, obviously they didn't want to split the games. Sky Patrol review when? Uh, never. Do I think they should remake 123K and CD in the Superstars engine and graphics? Uh, no. Any Sonic lore questions? For me? You're asking if I have questions about Sonic lore. You think there's something that I don't know about Sonic lore that I'm curious about. Oh, <laughs> what Amy mod is this? This is Superstars, Amy. It has problems. It's got some issues, you could say. When is the Sonic Jump review? Never. I'm not gonna review phone games. I don't give a shit. I don't know the American lore? Uh, why do you assume I don't know it? I don't care for it, but I know it. I know about Kinto Boar and all that stupid crap. I'm reviewing Sonic Dream Team. Yeah, but that's like a real game. You know what I mean when I say phone game. You can explore the Titan lore, but you can't do the limitations. I don't give a fuck about the Titan lore. Whatever. Double standards? Yeah, that's right. Double standards for phone games, because I don't give a shit. How about that? Fuck you. The only Sonic phone game that I would consider doing a review of is maybe Sonic Runners, because that was done by Sonic Team. If I can find a way to record that. I guess I could do it on, like, Blue Stacks. I have to admit the Titans are cool. I, you know what? I will admit that. Evangelion is cool. Ava's are cool. Oh, fuck. I just did that on instinct. Get me out of here. I finally admitted that Evangelion is cool. Yeah, it's cool. There's a lot of cool stuff in Evangelion. I just don't like it.
Why don't I like Ian Flynn's writing? Man, I should really make that fucking video so people will stop asking me that all the time. Uh... He doesn't write the characters like the characters, I don't like the tone that he uses, and he completely misses out on the thematic elements of Sonic that I appreciate. No, it's fine, Chad. It's just I get asked that exact same question every sh every single stream, multiple times. This is one of the coolest bosses to me. As a kid, I always loved this boss, the, the simulated 3D through the scrolling of the arches and stuff. It was very impressive. You can tell a lot of the original Sonic games is Naka just flexing his programming tech. He's like, hey, look what I can do. That's part of the reason that special stages even exist to begin with, is just to be showcases of uh, Naka's amazing programming. Well, I complimented a boss. I mean, the fight itself is still not great, but, uh... Pretty cool, technically. Tail Sky Patrol stream? Uh, don't hold your breath for it. What music do I listen to? Not really much of a music person. God damn it. You know, I'm glad I played Amy in this stream because I have learned that she's very broken. Now I can take her off the spreadsheet, at least until she gets fixed up. Sonic Blast live streaming when? I might do that. Maybe a stream playing all the uh, 8-bit Sonic games. We could do that, maybe. Fuck! <laughs> God damn you and your broken shit, Amy. All right, we'll go this way. Fuck. I was reading chat. What was my GPA in high school? I don't fucking remember. The faster I make the Ian Flynn video, the faster you don't have to make it. Well, I'm gonna make it no matter what, so... But also, <laughs> the video is not gonna be the Ian Flynn video. It's gonna be a video talking about Sonic comics. Which will then lead to me talking about Ian Flynn's writing. I'm not gonna make a video. Here's why Ian Flynn is a stinky poopy head and why I don't like him. Try to beat your 3k speedrun? I mean, if you're a legit speedrunner, I definitely can't. That's how I get views? Eh, I don't want those kinds of views. What hobbies do I enjoy doing? Uh... You know, I watch stuff, I read stuff, obviously I write. Uh, I got into sword fighting for a bit, haven't done it in a while though. Recently got into rock climbing, that's pretty fun. Oh, here's something, I haven't, I'm amazed I haven't talked about this at all yet. I went to uh, a robot fight, like uh, y'all know like battle bots and shit? Uh, I, I competed in one uh, this weekend on Saturday. Uh, my friend got super into it and he built a, a bot and uh, he went to a tournament like a month ago, and uh, he got third place in that, which is super cool. It was his first time doing it. And then he was like super duper into it, so he built two more bots. So he invited a friend and me to come with him and uh, compete uh, with some of his bots. Uh, and it was super fun. I had a great time. 
Lots of cool people there. Uh, and I won. I won the tournament uh, in my weight class, which was really cool. So I guess that's a thing I'm doing now, because there's another tournament we're going to next month. Don't know if it's faster to go up here or down. Sword. Sword fighting in battle bots is crazy. Yeah, I mean, they just seem like cool stuff. Uh, so I wanted to try them. I should teach robots sword fighting. If only. The biggest shame of it is that we don't live in the future, where instead of it being a little box that I control with a remote control, I want it to be a fucking mecha. I want to do mecha fights. What do I write? Am I an author? Yeah, I have, uh, I'm working on a novel right now. It's very early on at the moment, but, uh, making progress. Don't let my friend do AI. Uh, I mean, I guess he could do whatever he wants. Come on. Mechas would be terrifying? I mean, they would be. But they'd also be hype. Ian Flynn liking Sonato is already a red flag? Eh, whatever. You can like something and not, you know, let it fuck with your own work. Oh, you're outlining a graphic novel to Flulu? Well, good luck with that. Thoughts on Undertale? Undertale is really cool. Just imagine sword fighting big mechas in space. I mean, isn't that basically just Gundam? Just watch Gundam if that's what you want. What the bo- <laughs> Oh, Amy. Oh, the- Oh, Amy. <laughs> skill issue? That was a skill issue? I didn't realize. Oh, Amy. Am I gonna game over here from the game breaking? Seems like it. Uh, okay. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> we may have run into a problem, folks. What the hell even is this mod anymore? That's a great question. Um... What is even going on anymore? Oh! Game crashed. <laughs> oh god. Alrighty, so, uh, I'm gonna turn off the Amy mod. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. You wanna see live footage of me struggling on Eggman Land? Honestly, I probably wouldn't struggle on Eggman Land. Alright, uh... <laughs> Go over the mods. Uh, we'll just turn those off. Jesus Christ. 
All right, we're continuing with Sonic and Tails then, I guess. Wow. <laughs> Wowie zowie. <laughs> that was beautiful. Hey man, that's game modding. Sometimes shit just happens. I guess after what we encountered in um, Marble Garden, it was only a matter of time, right? Back to Sonic's dumb, chunky sprites in this game. I kind of like these Sonic sprites. They are a bit weird... weird looking, but I like them. Wow. What is that anti-passivity trap? That's fucked up. gonna use uh, Super Hyper for this. I'm just gonna play the game. The color blue is utterly perfect. I mean, isn't it the exact same color of blue that he was in Sonic 2? Some people are saying yes, some people are saying no. I always assumed it was the same color of blue. It looks very similar to me. I definitely prefer this over the, like, cyan light blue that they made uh, Sonic and Mania. I do not like that color for Sonic at all. Also, why is Knuckles pink in Mania? That annoys me so much. Oh, Eli, thank you for the donation. Glad you're having fun. <laughs> Apologies to everyone for all the glitchiness uh, with the Amy, but, uh... But it was an adventure, wasn't it? Oh god, this boss. This boss sucks. He was actually pink in the initial release of Sonic 3. Well, that was just because of palette issues. is the crappiest boss in any of these games? Yeah, for sure. Because it's shitty, it's boring, and it takes forever. you can push those by spin dashing. I think it's just a shield that's here. Yeah. I should play as one of the Chaotix. The Chaotix abilities aren't really very useful for Sonic 3 & Knuckles, because the game is not designed for that. Where does this go? Oh, okay. Just spits you back out. Holy frame rates? Is there an issue? Everything looks fine on my end with the stream.
This is the kind of stuff is why you don't like Sandopolis. All this fucking waiting around on these goddamn rocks. Those, uh, those rope things you grab onto and then you slowly descend down. Is an issue for a second, it's fine now? Okay. Not much waiting, but there is some, and I don't like waiting. Movie Sonic and Mario look weird. I mean, movie Mario looks pretty much like normal Mario, just with slightly weird proportions. Uh, movie Sonic, I do not think looks good. All right, Tails. Give me the fuck up. That section is definitely much better now that you can speed it up like that. Let's go, you bitch. Ah! That works, too. Yeah, I guess the waiting in this level isn't that bad, since you can do a lot of stuff to speed it up. What is over here? Oh, it's just an extra life. Something I desperately need. Mania 3K? Uh, Mania is the better game, if you ask me. I was really struggling there before getting that light, uh, getting that life. It's true. I really did need it. Okay. Oh, hey, Stelmo, what's going on? That one, I think, was just a 3K bug. Right, now I don't have the lightning shield. Get over here, you bitch. I need your butt. Crazy sentence. I knew what I was saying. Fuck. Same exact thing as last time. And I don't have the lightning shield. You think 3 owns Mania in terms of uh, ideas and pacing? Yes, but Mania has, I think, better level design. It's very, very close, but I do think Mania has better level design. And better bosses, and better special stages. Have I tried getting good? You know, Stelmo, I've heard about that, but I don't know if I'm really into that. That sounds like some kind of, like, cheater strat to me. It's much easier to just complain. That's what I'm gonna do. Wait, what? Why did I loop around? Oh, I'm supposed to go left here, aren't I? Maybe? I don't even know. Three K better overall game experience. Um, I 
don't know if I would agree with that. I just feel like... What are the problems in Mania? Other than, you know, its lack of originality, the actual game is just so fucking good. Oh yeah, that's a big waste of time. The plane level? Oh yeah, I forgot about the plane level in Sonic Mania. Yeah, that does suck. I missed a quick kill. Can you not reach him? Cheer strat? I said cheater strat. I might have flubbed my words there. 3k feels like a cohesive adventure. That is definitely true, but that is, again, that just comes down to the lack of originality in uh, Mania. I'm sure it would have felt like a cohesive adventure if they were allowed to make all original levels. I love this zone. I don't know how a lot of people feel about it, but I think this zone is super fun. Favorite 8-bit game to time attack? I've never time attacked any of the 8-bit Sonic games. Door. No, oh, I was reading chat. It's pretty crazy, the progression of these games, just comparing what we... I've never played all the original Sonic games back-to-back -back before, and now doing it, it feels so, like, crazy seeing the growth of the of the Sonic gameplay and design from what it was in Sonic 1 to what it is here now, like, with these huge-ass, super-complex levels. Because most levels in Sonic 1 you can beat in, like, 20 seconds to under a minute, and now these levels are so huge and sprawling and shit. And the way the design has evolved and uh, improved. Pretty cool. These are the good, the video games. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait, no. This way. Praise the 4 FPS. Are there issues? Again, it looks fine on my end. Is it crapping out for a second? Huh. Maybe a bitrate thing? I mean, it's the same bitrate I always stream at. Keeping an eye on it now. It looks fine. Sometimes fine, sometimes low frame rate. How often is it happening? Is it happening like a lot? It happens once in a blue moon. It's fine overall. Okay. I will look into that after the stream. Oh, 
Like right now, for example, it looks totally fine uh, on the stream for me on my end. Oh, I see. My internet is dropping. Yeah, the stream software is fine, but uh, my internet is dropping. Huh. I don't know why that's happening. Might just be internet issues, you know? Sometimes you have some problems with the internet. Whoops. Price streaming on 2008 broadband. I have pretty good internet at my place. I think this is just for like extra shit, right? Oh, that's. Oh, wait, no. That is a way to go. we talk about how good the Sonic 3 music is? I mean, we basically have been all stream. Man's internet provider is a dinosaur? I mean, usually the stream is fine, right? Ow, oh, fuck you. Too much Sonic destroys your internet? Too much Sonic destroys your brain. Case soundtrack is your least favorite because it's so stylistically inconsistent with all the different composers. That is definitely noticeable. Like the Sonic 3 soundtrack and the Sonic and Knuckles soundtracks are pretty different sounding. Like all the uh, voice samples and stuff in Sonic 3 that's just not there in Sonic and Knuckles. That's like the only extended ceiling run that you get in like the entirety of the classic games, and it's very cool. I wish there were more opportunities to do big ceiling runs like that. Oh, yeah. Thought I was going in the lava. Angel Island Act 2? Does that have a ceiling run moment? You wish there was more you could do with ceiling runs? Oh, there's definitely more you can do. I've seen uh, some fan games and, like, ROM hacks and stuff that have done more with ceiling running. And there is potential for it. I wish they utilized it more, but it's like a very kind of advanced feeling mechanic if you really push it to the limit and a lot of players wouldn't use it, but that's fine. Just put it on the high roots. And if you can't do it, then you just fall down. Am I gonna play 3D Blast as well? No. I played 3D Blast on a previous stream. Up, oh, up, oh, internet's dying right now. Sorry. Sorry if we're having issues. Okay, we're back. I'm keeping an eye on that now. Okay, where's the fire shield here? That's the lightning shield. 
There we go. So this is last game? Yeah, this will be the last game of the stream. You want to see 3D trash on this stream of good Sonic games? Hey, I like uh, Sonic 3D Blast. Oh, the boss is over here, right? Yeah. But what about Sonic 4? Stelmo, this stream is called I'm playing through the original Sonic games, not some trash. Sonic the Fighters stream, maybe? Uh... I don't know, maybe. Maybe I'll do a stream of, like, classic Sonic spin-offs, or I play a bunch of them. Sonic R, Sonic the Fighters, uh, Sonic Labyrinth. I can play that game and show you all how it's actually good. It's a continuation? Oh, is it, Stelmo? A continuation of what, exactly? How does Sonic 4 pick up where Sonic 3 and Knuckles left off? High-level Knuckles Chaotix gameplay? Yeah, yeah, I gotta show off Chaotix and show off how cool that game is when you know how to do the physics shit. Sonic 4 Episode 2 got Metal Sonic? So does Sonic CD, that doesn't make the game good. Damn, I got to burn on two Sonic games there at the same time. I'm getting real high level with this shitting on Sonic games thing. Slander every Sonic game now? Sonic was never good. Boom. Easy peasy. Did this man just imply that Labyrinth is better than CD? No, it's not better, but I do like it. Sonic Labyrinth better than Adventure 2? Also no. I was always annoyed as a kid that there's no good place to stand for this cutscene to happen. What Sonic game deserves a remake the most? Um, Probably Sonic Adventure. But what about Sonic is always good? Look, someone asked me to shit on all the Sonic games. Doesn't mean that's what I think. Do I know the trick at the beginning of this level? Uh, no. I have no idea what you're talking about. A lot of Sonic games just need enhanced re-releases? Definitely. We desperately need uh, a handheld collection of the Advance and Rush games. Fuck. I wanted that. Oh, if you crouch in front of Knuckles, he shoes you? Yeah, I know that. I mean, it would definitely never happen, but I would love to see retro engine versions of the advanced games. That'd be awesome. In my Sonic Rush video, I said, why do you think my name is Pariah? Uh, 
because uh, Blaze's story in Sonic Rush is relatable to me, and uh, my username kind of reflects that. Retro Engine, uh, Advanced Rush, and Chaotix. I don't know if you could do Chaotix in the Retro Engine, because then it would have, like, good physics, and it wouldn't work the same anymore, and you couldn't do all the weird bullshit. Like, the tether physics of Knuckles Chaotix would be, like, impossible to remake accurately. Which I guess would probably be a good thing to most people, but that's just because you don't know. You just don't know about the cool shit. Uh, those things always get me. They're so annoying. You've tried real hard to enjoy Chaotix, but the boring level design really kills it. That's understandable. Especially with how samey it all is. What is relatable about Blaze? This is personal life stuff. We all have our shit. And you're always gonna find stories out there that are relatable to you and your own personal shit and what you've dealt with. You bitch, Tails! What is this Mechasonic called? I think it's Mechasonic Mark II, right? Am I from the Soul Dimension too? Absolutely. Pariah was a princess once. There you go. That's what I was alluding to. What's my thoughts on Triple Trouble 16-bit? I haven't played it yet. Oh yeah, I forgot I could fast-forward the cutscenes. Who's my counterpart in the Chaos Dimension? Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't even think the Soul Dimension is the actual term that is ever used to describe Blaze's world. It's just called Blaze's world, right? They never call it the Soul Dimension. That might be in, like, other materials, but it's not in the games, I'm pretty sure. So I don't know if it's actually called that. They do an IDW? Yeah, well, I mean, and then, like, things that matter. Uh, play Triple Trouble Remake? I'll probably do it on stream. That's canon, though? Yeah, like I said, I mean things that matter. Damn, I couldn't see it. It was, like, perfectly overlapping with the platform. Oopsies. Forgot to grab the electric shield for this. Oh, God. <laughs> what do I think of uh, Sunset Overdrive? <laughs> oh, didn't really care for it too much. The tone of it is kind of annoying and obnoxious to me. Forget the electric shield, there's an invincibility power-up? Is there? I do not remember. Uh, 
There's the electric shield. Need that. I actually think you shouldn't take that one. Some of the, uh, like, little fly ring things you should ignore. Some of them you should take. That's one you should ignore. Now I'm on the lower route. Can I speak in any other language? I know a very small baby amount of Japanese, and that's it. Let's see if I can do this fast. Pretty fast. Not too shabby. This one I think you need to take, because there's no way to get up here otherwise. This one I think you ignore. Yeah. So I think I want to go up there. There we go. Oh, this just lets you down here. Nope, that was a big old waste of time. I completely forgot how you're supposed to actually fight this boss. Yeah, you're supposed to wait for them to come down. But, you know, we just do it this way. The way everyone does it. This is why I suggested maybe we should do away with picking rings back up. And, uh in Sonic games, because you can do this. I'm a fan. Name everything. Look, I've been working on it. I've been making a lot of videos on Sonic. <laughs> Yeah, being up to being able to re-pick up your broke your lost rings is broken. Yeah. I mean, you can just iframe your way through bosses completely. Like yeah, you want to make the game forgiving, but it's a little too forgiving, don't you think? This, uh, beginning the trend of gravity inversion, uh, for- toward the end of the game in almost every single Sonic game from here on. For a while. Who's my Overwatch main? I don't play fucking Overwatch. I played it when it first came out, but TF2 is just better. I do not know this route. Diva is cute as fuck? I mean, she is. A lot of the Overwatch characters are cute or whatever. That don't make me want to play the game. It's interesting how uh, Izuka and Sonoe both got uh, got their start with this game very inexperienced, and then they became uh, bigger roles in follow-ups. 
I mean, that's not too uh, insane to me. That's pretty common. You know, they did good work, so they get promoted. Especially because uh, the people in those roles previously are no longer there doing those things. Ow, fuck. Light Tails, save me. You bitch! Izuka had to have made this zone or act at least? I don't know. Hard to tell. It kind of feels a bit more like his level design. I have a mod for the music not to restart. That's just built into air. Very nice feature. Especially good for time attack, because you don't have to listen to the start of the music all the time. Did his job this time, little bitch. Why do you think I keep you around? Did Izuka do level design for this game? Yeah, that was his ma main role on the game. Have I ever deleted any videos? Uh, well, I've made them private. Uh, yeah, a couple videos that I'm not happy with. Uh, I've also deleted videos that I have never uploaded in the first place. Like, videos that I got completely finished, and then by the very end of it, I'm like, man, this video sucks, and then I never uploaded it. Yeah, like, the old best way to play Sonic video... That is, uh, privated, because it's just redundant and outdated, so just replace it with the new one. Or the canon video, which I'm going to replace as well. What were those scrap videos? I honestly don't even remember. Bad time to lose my electric shield. Alright, this is gonna sound insane. I never knew that you could spin dash these things to launch him up. When they're on the ceiling, right? You do this? Yeah. I never knew you could do that. I always just tried to manipulate the, uh... Like that. That's just the only way I've ever fought this boss. You can spin- exactly! I just learned that a while ago, and I was like, wait, what? You can do what now? Everyone's getting the same reaction I had a while ago when I learned this. Yeah. I didn't know? Yeah, I did not know that. Alright. This is probably the best final boss in any of these games, and it's still not great. It's mostly boring. 
Why is Eggman faster than Sonic? Everyone always says that. Eggman is not faster than Sonic in these games. He's as fast as Sonic. I don't do the spin dash strat for that. I'll be honest, I didn't know what you're talking about. God damn it, Tails! Fucking bitch. Okay, nerd, I'm just saying, if he was faster than Sonic, then Sonic would not be able to catch up to him. Uh, but Eggman stays at pace with Sonic. So that means they're going at the same speed. Tails again! Oh, you spin dash between the hands. Oh, that makes sense. I've never thought of that. This is why you should never play with Sonic and Tails, but I always do it anyway, because I like it. But it is just objectively bad. Don't do it. Go up. Oh, that's much better, yes. Wait, Tails doesn't do anything? Uh, yeah, Tails can hit the boss, and if he hits the boss, fuck. Uh, when you're trying to hit the boss, then... The boss will have iframes, and you'll go right through and you'll die. Okay. That is so much better and faster. Uh, pretty chill Phil. Thank you very much for the donation. I appreciate it. Fuck. <laughs> I missed time to jump. Kind of fucked how if you go into this boss normally, you get rings, but then if you die, you don't. That's mean. At least you have a chance to get rings, unlike Sonic 2. Well, if you play with the modded Sonic 2, like I did earlier, you can get rings. Hey, doesn't that close? Yeah, when the fire comes. He's colluding. You think that Tails is your friend, but in reality, he is actually working for Eggman. It was all a long con to get to this moment for the ultimate betrayal. Tails is so dumb in these games. Yeah, get fucking get rid of this bitch. He's ruining everything for me. It's all a conspiracy. Yeah, where's the game theory on that? Tails is actually working for Eggman. <laughs> Uh, fuck. <laughs> uh, 
This is why you never pick Sonic and Tails together. Don't do it, kids. You didn't expect this from a god gamer? Look, it's not my fault that this little bitch is out to get me. <laughs> Pariah Sonic skill is actually Game Grumps tier? Come on now. That's like the harshest thing you could ever say. Wait until I die during the final phase of this fight. Because it's happened to me before. It could happen now. I have absolutely been blasted off the left side and killed right there. All right, and then this crap. Let's get this done real quick. No dragon, that's for sure. Kind of awkward how there's no cutscene for this. Probably something that was cut from the game, I would imagine. It's no dragon, that's for sure. Holy shit, I wasn't paying any attention. What the fuck happened to my rings? I have no idea. Someone tell me. What did happen to them? I don't think I've ever run out of rings on this fight before. Not since I was a kid. You blinked and saw my rings at 10? What the hell happened? Yeah, the ring counter is going down super fast right now. The hell? Oh, wait a minute. I think I know what that is. It's one of the mods I have on. Where is it? Uh... Here somewhere. Don't remember what it's called. Oh, it's characters go super then hyper, I think. There's a setting that you can make where hyperform drains uh, rings at twice the speed, which I think is more interesting for when you're playing the normal levels. But I did not think of how it would affect this. That's what happened.
being hyper makes this section harder. Yeah. I mean, it seems like it's probably undoable with, uh, with the faster ring drain. The closest we've gotten to a good uh, super final boss is Dark Gaia. I think that the Sonic Adventure one is okay. As uh, supersonic bosses go. There we go. What's a good boss fight for me then? <laughs> People keep on asking me this. People have this weird impression that they think that I hate. Oh, yeah, I forgot this was still going. I forgot it's not over. People have this weird impression of me that they think that I just hate boss fights fundamentally and I think that they're terrible and shouldn't be in any games. I have only criticized bosses so much because I've talked a lot about Sonic games, which have crappy boss fights. There are plenty of good games that have good boss fights. Alright, here's an example. You want a game that has good boss fights? Fury. F-U-R-I. That is a game that is nothing but boss fights. It is just like 12 fights. That's the whole game. And it's fucking sick. You know why? Because it's a well-designed game with good combat and good bosses. Fury was hard. Yeah, Fury is a very hard game. Yeah, Enter the Gungeon, Binding of Isaac, Souls games, character action games. There are plenty of games that have good bosses. Mega Man games have good bosses. It's just that platformers generally don't have very good bosses because they're not fucking designed for goddamn fighting. They're designed for running and jumping. Well, sweet, that's more an issue with item balance. I think there are plenty of good bosses in Isaac. Have I played Cuphead? No, I have not. DKC has some pretty ridiculous bosses. Honestly, I don't even really remember the bosses in DKC. Oh yeah, Shovel Knight. Plenty of great bosses in Shovel Knight. Castlevania games have good boss fights. Your BF called Fury 3D Toho? I mean, Fury's not even really 3D, it's a top-down game. Yeah, Kirby has decent bosses, actually. Yeah. Plenty of games have good bosses. It's just not Sonic games. Sonic games do not. Most platformers do not. Have I ever played Half-Life? Uh, no. Oh yeah, Hollow Knight, excellent bosses in that game for sure. Freedom Planet has good bosses. So does Spark the Electric Jester. Not two. The combat in two sucks. Most moderns do not. I mean, old platformers don't either. Like, I don't give a fuck what anyone's gonna say. Fuck you. Banjo-Kazooie does not have good bosses. Don't you dare try to tell me it does, because it doesn't. Messenger has cool bosses. I don't remember the, the bosses in the Messenger, but that's a great game. I love the Messenger. Hi-Fi Rush? I mean, yeah, obviously action games lend themselves to having good boss fights. Which is worse, Werehog Combat or Frontiers Combat? Frontiers Combat is worse. Shadow of the Colossus? Personally, I don't like Shadow of the Colossus. I'm not a fan of any of the Team Ico games. 
You know what else has good bosses? A lot of RPGs, because a lot of RPGs, the main gameplay is combat. Paper Mario, Bug Fables, Persona. I mean, I'm just listing off the RPGs I've personally played, because that's what I'm familiar with. But RPGs have plenty of good bosses. Weird how games that are built around combat have good boss fights, and games that are around about exploring and platforming and navigating obstacle courses don't have good boss fights. Weird how that works. You know what else has bad boss fights? Stealth games. I've played many stealth games. I've never seen a good boss in a single fucking one. It's pronounced Eco. Oh, I, I've never known how it was supposed to be pronounced. Sonic should become a character action game. Please no! I would like Sonic to be a Sonic game. I love MGS. I've only played MGS5. Alright, there we go. That was all the Sonic games. All the original Sonic games. Thanks for watching, everybody. We can leave that in the background as we talk for a bit. Maybe a spin-off character action game with Shadow. I suppose you could do that kind of more combat-oriented stuff with Shadow. That makes sense for his character. We all want to play as the Shadow from the intro shot of the Hedgehog, where he's teleporting around and wrecking dudes. But I think so. Uh, 06 actually does a half-decent job of like making that Shadow playable, especially Project 06. Knuckles playthrough? I was thinking about it, but the stream's already gone on for long enough at this point. Maybe another day. We also want to play a Sonic CD intro Sonic? Yes. I want that Sonic to be playable. Alright dudes, uh, I'm gonna call the stream there. Uh, might stream again tomorrow. We'll see how I'm feeling. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get something out, a uh, video, later this week. I'm still a bit busy, uh, for the next day or two. Uh, but I'll try to get out the Sonic 4 video. Later, everybody. Thanks for coming by.